Hey everybody, what's up, everybody? Um, this is just addressing some comments. Uh, really, just comments that were recent. Uh, two of them that were really recent on, I think, two of my older videos. Um, one is by, I'm not going to say his uh, name, but you can go check out it on my videos. Check out uh, my, one of my reviews videos and you'll find his comment. Uh, where I think he's not addressing what I said, but I think he's addressing someone that someone else said uh, concerning uh, the game. Uh, Persona 4. It's a Persona 4 uh, soundtrack. Uh, I think he's addressing someone else's comment on my video. Uh, they say, no way, you fat fuck. Don't even try to claim the soundtrack is good. I th this is why I think he's talking about me, because I'm a fat fuck. Uh, you must be retarded. Every single area of the goddamn game has the same song attached to it, and the songs don't even last more than 30 seconds before they repeat. Get your neck beard out of your ears. Uh, and that's just the soundtrack. If you even like this game in general, you must be a fucking dumb fuck. Seriously, the most linear, boring, repetitive game I've ever fucking played. By the way, I have a nice dog. <clears throat> now, uh, Persona 4 is a really good game. Uh, it's somewhat repetitive. I haven't played it in a while. That's not because it's of its repetitiveness or its unfunness. It's just because I've been playing my 360 a lot because uh, I've been talking to my friends and that's a cheaper way to talk to them than calling them up on the phone. It's, it's cheaper, really. It's 50 bucks shit fucking for the year. It's fucking cheap. Uh, anyway. Um, the soundtrack is good, though. I, um, okay. And if this douchebag is actually wondering what... I'm not talking about the soundtrack uh, that's in the game. Although these are songs that are on in the game, uh, I forgot which fucking disc it is. Uh, <laughs> but there's an individual soundtrack, and if I could find the oh here it is. As you can see, there's actually a track listing on the uh, on the back side of the uh, game manual there's a list of songs which I'll show better and I'll do some a video with the songs in the background um, when I get my flip this week and next week um, so yeah it's right here that's um, on the back of the game manual you can go check that out uh, just thought I'd address that comment and there's another comment which I understand is uh, the person's outrage on my uh, video um, it's about uh, my it's a wandering video about graffiti which is from I don't remember when uh, just go search through and you can find this thing it's um, by name guy named Sauga Grass. Um, it says tagging is not graffiti. Tagging started graffiti, which later on evolved into photos and masterpieces. You want to do legal well because you're afraid of getting caught. The whole point of graffiti is for it to be illegal. You don't understand what graffiti is uh, all about. Um, honestly, I don't. I don't know what the old school graffiti is about. And I really would just want to throw legal. Um, throw up on legal wall uh, legal walls not because of the legality of it it's because I want to show what I can do as an artist when given a medium that I'm really um, that I think I'd be really good at because I can do just one shot things and if I do it legally on the legal wall that I ask someone if I can Nobody's going to override it, and that piece is going to stay there for a while. Now, yes, graffiti's illegal, unless you ask someone to do it. Now, <clears throat> I've always been a fan of graffiti. Um, I've been a fan of graffiti for a while. Uh, for as really as, uh, as long as I can remember, I've been a fan of graffiti. I've always been... Uh, taken aback by the style and all of that. So I'm sorry if I offended uh Salgograph, but uh I really do think.
is if I really am a fan of graffiti. And, uh, that other douchebag can go fuck himself. <laughs> Not all games have to be fucking sandbox games where you can do anything and everything wherever you want. Not all games have to be that. Some games actually have a fucking story. Hmm, big fucking ideal. A fucking story of a game. Yeah, that's really a bad problem, having a linear storyline. That's really fucking bad. That's a sign of a bad game. Um, some of the enemies, yes, do get repetitive, but that does not take away its funness. And I haven't played it, as I stated before, be not because of its repetitiveness and its bad gameness. No, it's because I've been playing my 360 to talk to my friends. That's why I've been playing my 360 and not my PS2. <clears throat> so this motherfucker needs to check his self before he fucking says anything, because <clears throat> this guy is just a dumb motherfucker who probably hates all PS2 games because they're not 360 games or PS3 games or Wii games. They're not new, then, uh, next gen or current gen. They're last gen. They're games that are old and should be thrown to the wayside. <clears throat> so I'm fucking pissed off about that. Um, yeah, but seriously, a story with a game that's a linear story is not a bad thing to have. All games have a linear storyline. Whether or not you can branch out and do those is a whole other storyline. The whole story of that game is you're trying to figure out who was the person who's trying to throw people into the TVs and kill them. That's what the whole fucking point of the game is. It's supposed to find out information. You can't make that non-linear. The storyline of that game is linear for a fucking point. You can't do non-linear things. No fucking duh. Most RPGs don't have a non-linear storyline. Some of them do. Some of them have side quests. Some of them have every other things. This is really about an urgent thing since it has a days, and as the days progress, you have less and less time to save the people. It's about saving people. Anyway, peace, love, harmony, and uh, I want to apologize to Sogograph for maybe offending him, and peace out.